Simultaneous encode decode, the brand new feature available now for Bird Dog Quad and OG4 cards. We are so excited to be one of the first companies to offer this innovative feature, and today I'll show you exactly how it works. So to flip over to the graphic we have here, traditionally we had our decode or encode mode. So on the left, you can see we have four decode sources where we could choose from different NDI sources and output them via SDI to something like a studio monitor or a production switcher. On the far right, we have our encode mode, and that's where we could take four SDI sources like cameras or switchers and input them into the converter to take them into NDI. Now, this new two by two mode, we're calling this the best of both worlds. And this is where you can have channels one and two be encoders to take cameras or switchers into NDI. And D three and four are decoders where you can take NDI and output them via SDI. We can do this now all simultaneously. On this wire diagram, you'll see that we have the same workflow basically for the quad and the OG4, where like I said, channels one and two are encoders and channels three and four are your decoders. Now, one of the, my favorite parts is that on the back, you can do this over the existing RJ45 or the SFP Plus. So whichever workflow you had this thing plugged into, you can just hook this right in and plug and play. And like I said, basically one and two are your encoders and then three and four are your decoders. So now, Let's go ahead and hop over to the web UI and show you guys how you can use this new feature. So if I go over to my quad screen, the first thing we're gonna wanna look for is what firmware version we are on. So in this new update, it's gonna be on 5.5301 or higher, and 308 is our newest firmware that you'll wanna be on to use this feature. Now, one of the things to note is if your firmware is on four, starting in four dot something, you will want to go over to the website and you'll go to support, downloads, the converter section, scroll down to quad and OG4. And if you are on version four, your first step will be to update to these NDI5 options. So if you're on quad, you can do this either with the fleet manager, which is one of our free softwares, or if you have a USB drive, you can do the re-image with that. This step works pretty much the same for both devices and the instructions are attached in the download folders that you use. Now, once you get up to that NDI 5.5273 or higher, you can then go to this new download, go to the firmware update, and then download this new file. Now, once you take that file, you can go over to the system tab of the device. You can choose it right here under system updates, and then you will just upload via the web UI. So then once you do that, you will go to the dashboard and you can see now I'm in this new two by two mode. So if I go over to the AV setup tab, this is where you will see that new two by two mode option. Now you can also do a uh, regular four encode mode or four decode mode, or choose to go to this two by two simultaneous. If you click on this little info, it'll just remind you on what inputs become what when you switch the modes. And after you do that, once you change operation modes, the device will restart and then you're off to the races and can make changes on the fly after that. Now I'll go ahead and start showing you with the decoder and what we're doing here. So channels three and four right now are plugged into this little quad box and you can see that I have a signal and that's number four which is doing a 4k 30 feed up at the top left and on channel three if right now I have nothing decoding so you just see that splash screen if I come down here and I choose let's say this TriCaster feed and hit apply you will see this flash and then that feed will come through on the bottom left and now we are decoding another signal. So these are our two decodes on channels three and four. And then on channels one and two, it's kind of a familiar option where you can change the stream name, the bit rate, uh, the subsampling, and that's gonna happen on your inputs for channels one and two. Now, if I go over to my studio monitor here, you can actually see on my X5 camera that is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to the OLED screen of the quad, and you will actually see what I'm doing and what resolutions are being encoded. So on channels three and four, what's great is you can see that the E is for encode. I'm doing a 4K 60, a 1080p 50, and then on the decode side, I'm doing a 1080 5994, and then a 4K 30. 
So if I flip over into Studio Monitor here and then go down to my quad, you will see I have my two encode streams. So stream two is just a uh, P240 off the wall, streaming in 1080p50. And then if I go to stream one, you're gonna see that camera again, that X5, which is outputting 4K60 via the SDI. So this is kind of a brief example of how this workflow would go. And what's great is if I go over to my dashboard, you can actually see the stream info live for each independent channel. So channel one's doing a 4K60, channel two's doing a 1080 50, uh, channel four is doing a 4K30, and all that information is reflected right here. So yeah, that's basically a brief run through of what that new feature entails. And like I said, this is available now on birddog.tv for download. So if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at help at birddog.tv. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoy this new feature and can't wait to see how you guys use it in your workflows.